Omicron variant has shown a surprising ability to break through our defenses and infect people who already have some form of immunity against COVID. ABC 10 News reporter Jared Ahrens takes an in-depth look at new data showing how dangerous it is and what local doctors say that means. As the coronavirus mutates, it's becoming more contagious and health experts in San Diego say that makes it more dangerous. It is learning to evade our pre-existing immune responses. Professor Sumit Chanda from the Scripps Research Institute sees this as an evolutionary issue. A virus, he says, has one goal, to replicate and spread. With the Omicron variant, COVID-19 is doing that more efficiently than ever. The transmissibility of Omicron is, is fairly unprecedented, uh, especially compared to its, its, uh, the, the previous variants. And that's true even among people with some level of immunity. According to a new study from the UK, the risk of reinfection since the Omicron variant appeared is 16 times higher than it was during the Delta wave. And people who are unvaccinated are twice as likely to get reinfected as people who have gotten their shots. Essentially, the risks are higher, the stakes are higher when it comes to Omicron. Sharpery Staley family medicine doctor Abisola Olulade says that proves natural infection is a risky strategy against COVID. It is a hard way to get protection because you're risking long-term COVID, you're risking all these other things that can cause problems that are really debilitating for a lot, a lot of people. Debilitating even as the symptoms of infection may be milder. The UK study found a significant drop in people reporting a loss of taste and smell. Also, fewer people reported instances of fatigue, cough, shortness of breath, headache, and muscle pain. While that sounds like good news, Professor Shonda says it's just a sign of the virus getting smarter. If I give you symptoms or if I put you in the hospital, that's going to limit the number of people you're going to then go on and infect from a virus's perspective. While Omicron may be better at infections, doctors say the vaccines still work because they're meant to prevent hospitalization and death. In San Diego County, where more than 79 percent of eligible residents are fully vaccinated, the hospitalization rate is four times higher for unvaccinated people and the death rate is eight times higher. All of this, of course, tells us that the best way to get protected is by vaccination. Vaccination is going to always be the safest way to get protected from this virus. Even as it evolves. Viruses change, um, but uh, you know, that's, just, that's just part of the, the cat and mouse game that we're playing with this. And you know, eventually uh, we will be able to keep up with the virus. Jared Ahrens, ABC 10 News. Now, Jared's full interview with Professor Shonda in which they cover everything from Omicron to what happens when the pandemic becomes an endemic is available on our website, 10news.com.